What do you reckon? Is it a welly day? <laughs> look at that, look, it's a Monday morning. We've got a flat wheel on the front, a flat wheel on the back, and it's raining. So at least it gives me a good opportunity to get it done. Just moved the cradle forward. I just realized it's left a huge puddle of oil. Because it's new, I should say. I should say that's um, hopefully a loose pipe, but the servicing it tomorrow, first service. in a while and it's showing no, so I've not been in here for a month so I'd be curious to know when it will start this is where you get in and you realise the battery isolator's off. So yeah, first time on this trailer with this uh, this little digger. It's got to low travel speed. You never know where to take it on forwards like this or backwards. balanced over the axle but equally so the tractor has a bit of weight. This is the bit what normally makes me cringe. So I'm just going to drop that down. Nice having rubber, rubber traffic pads on the digger actually for getting up all this metal and stuff and it just grip well. I'll see how that looks. Quick weird job, bought this little skateboard because we've been struggling using the fast tracks on our backs. It wouldn't go, it wouldn't go anywhere and it turned out the, the, uh, the wheels were bolted on with the nuts on the wrong way around. So all the wheels are, are locked out. Bit of a party game, this one, so just turning the bolts around. There we go, look, goes right around this time. I don't know if you can see that water. That's nearly going up 30 foot in the air. Let's give it a hard bulk power wash anyway. Probably one of the least good machines to clean because it's just basically like a bucket. Yeah, I think that pipe's seen better days really. We'll have to clean the tracks now. Aha! That's better. Beautiful. Ah, missed a bit. Morning. So 
we had a bit of an unlikely start to the day. We've just sheared a shaft on the grader. So we're gonna whip this collar off, taper it off, and hope we weld it back together. So what I've done there, I've ground into the top, but I know where the absolute length is because I've left it on the shoulder. Chamfered side, so I'll put a lump of weld on the top to pre-warm it, and that'll make it the absolute length again. It doesn't have to be exact. Butt them up on some steel, I'll remove that collar, and then uh, tack it, realign it, I've, oh, I've did this loads of times on the old Pearson harvester. It was kind of a daily job, so I'm getting my eye in. And they never did snap, so I'm pretty happy with uh, doing it. Let's just see what the boys are up to. Burning the stripes today, so there is the, that grey machine. They're picking out broken down Agria or Babylon. Depends what your favourite is. Yeah, it's not the best store. I know I've, a lot of guys this year that just broke down. Some get away with it, many don't. Yeah, they're the sheep of the potato world. So this is largely what happens, it stays a good tate, and then the skin, just the cells on the skin seems to break down. And then uh, you think you've got away with it, it doesn't particularly smell, and then before you know it, it turns into a, a skin of vodka. But yeah, that's taken out these uh, random wets. Not unique to us by any means. I'm just showing you. Yeah, so we'll grade these over, get all the wets out, and then leave them in the sun for a good day, and then the, the good to go again then. So it's not exactly summer at the minute. God, do you remember last year when it was uh, shorts weather? It's just crazy hot. So I'm still using the boiler, because my dad's feeling the cold so I'm gonna get it emptied out and get it filled up and going again but <laughs> crazy
Right, that's got that. I'm thoroughly mucked up for the day. Yeah, it works a lot more efficient when it's empty because you've got more metal surface area to intercept the heat. Yeah, it can, oh, blimey. It fills up with ash and you lose all your air efficiency as well. Yeah, so I've got a little load of pallets on now. It's just, I mean, these only last about 20 minutes, but it'll add a bit of base heat. There we go. I can hear thunder. It's gonna come. Looks proper stormy, doesn't it? <laughs> 